This training video is brought to you by K Alliance. K Alliance is the 21st century's educational corporation specializing in the most comprehensive enterprise training solutions, ranging from e learning to instructor led training. Press play for success. After watching this video, be sure to become a Facebook fan to receive the latest updates, promotions, and course releases. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to preview the latest desktop, soft skills, and IT training videos. Now that we know how to make queries, let's go ask some questions using specific criteria. I'm going to go back into our Access database and ask a quick question using our projects table. So let's click on the Create tab, and remember we're using our query tools here, and this time I'm going to quickly use the query design. And the question that I want to ask is of the projects table. I'll just double click to get the projects table out there, close this dialog box. And then I want to be able to see the, the question grid here at the bottom. So let's just get that two headed arrow and drag it. Now we can see much more clearly. You already know that you could individually drag these fields down or you could double click to pop these fields into the grid. But what I want is every field all at once. So here's a quick trick for you. Double click in the title bar and all fields will be selected. Then you can grab one, drag one into the grid, and you can see the mouse shows us that multiple fields will be dropped. And there's everything from our table. Let's go look at what that is in the Dynaset, what it looks like. It shows us we have the project name, the due date of the project, the employee that's working on the project, and then we have a project ID indicating the um, shortcut for the project. So what we're going to look at for a few moments is the OM, or the office move line. What we're interested in is who is working on the office move, and what due dates do we have in mind. So back to design view. What we do here is we go down into the line, the first empty line in the question grid, where it says criteria. That's the line that we're working on, and what you want to be sure of is that you click your mouse on that line below the column title that you want to ask a question with. So we want project ID. And the question we want is, who's working on the OM, or the Office Move project? And then we'll hit our Run button, and it takes us out and it shows us that, wow, we have quite a few people working on that Office Move, and we can see the people, the due date, and project name's a little redundant, so maybe we decide that we don't want that in our question. We can go back over to the view, and we can say, you know, I don't, I'm not really interested in the project name. I know that OM is Office Move, and so I simply click on that title, I hit the Delete key, Let's go back and run that, and it shows us, ah, that's a little bit better. There's the office move information that we're interested in. Well, our next question is, I wonder if there are any conflicting dates. I wonder if there's anyone out there that's doing another project, and a lot of people, you can see, have something due on the fifth, excuse me, the fifth month, the 30th day, year 2013. So what we want to do is go query to see what else could possibly be due on May 30th, 2013. Let's go back into design view and change our criteria. We're back down here on the criteria line. Let's take a look at this OM. Notice that the OM now has double quotes around it. The reason for the double quotes is because Access automatically says this is text by putting double quotes around criteria for you. So anytime you have a text entry, you don't have to type the double quotes, but Access will do that for you. Now what we want to do is come over here to the due date, 5.30. 2013 is the date that we want. And I'll go ahead and hit the Run button. And I discover that, oh gosh, I also have MC. Now if I don't know what MC is based on the project ID, all I would do is go back into my grid and add the additional field so that I have more clarity in my question. But really, I just wanted to see if there was any conflict. And I discovered that just person 44 has one conflict on that day. And that was the question I had. So now that I have my answer, Let's get back to the design view and take a look at what happened with the date. The text fields had the double quotes around it, and what we have here is the date field shows up with pound signs around it. Again, that's just a convention that Access uses to indicate the clarity of we have a date field. You don't have to type those pound signs, but there could be times when you need to for clarity, but Access will do it for you. Now remember, we wanted to add the project name in, and so if I double click on project name to add it into the grid, it adds it as the last field. But what I want is I want to be able to put it at the beginning, so I'll just get that little thick arrow, click, drag it over here, and now when I hit my run button, 
now I have the perfect answer that I was looking for. I know the project name, the due date, the employee ID, and the project ID, so I can identify that it's the marketing campaign. Then I need to go check on a date to see if I can get person 44 with only one thing due on that day. So enjoy queries. They ask great questions for you. Get your criteria in there and find your answers.